This is a postscript to my article, Transonic Monitoring for Dialysis Access. Now, the transonic machine monitors the efficiency of your fistula or graft, whichever one you're using. Now, the transonic equipment measures your uh, access and gives it a score, like a grade. My score was consistent at 1,480. Then after a month, it went down to 1,300. And then the following month, it's 1,200. We get tested at the Vita every month. So the third month, it went down to 1,100. That's really scary. I started to worry. Because if, if it went down to 600, they're going to have to cut me up. They will have to un unclog it. It means there's a clot inside my my access. So I don't want to go through that again. It's very it's a painful process, declogging it. And I, I call it ballooning. They, is, they insert a balloon there and, uh, you know, blow the balloon up. And then they kind of push the clot away. So I thought about it. I kept thinking, what did I do? And I can't think of anything other than wearing something tight. Now, this this jacket, it's not tight. Okay, see? It's not tight. It's not loose either. That's the problem. Now, I kind of suspected this jacket is the one that's causing it. So, for a while, uh, I, I did not wear it for a while, and uh, I just wanted to show it to you. Okay, for a while, I didn't wear it, and I waited for the next month's uh, score. And true enough, true enough, my score went back to 1,460. So see, the, the transonic is helping me, telling me we're doing something wrong here. And if you really think hard enough, I found that this is the one. So I'm back to 14,600. Isn't that great? So that's how the transonic monitoring helps taking care of your dialysis access.